Hello and welcome to video four, or quiet four, I should say. And what I came, I came into my studio this morning and um, spent a little time straightening up and putting things where I wanted them to be. And um, one of the things that I saw was underneath, as you saw, my drawing table for the other quiet um, uh, series was my newsprint that I had underneath just to protect my table a little bit. And, and I really liked a lot of what was going on on it, so I actually brought it up to put a new piece of paper down and cut it up into all these little pieces that I really liked. And so that's how I'm going to start out today. I'm going to take this bigger piece and actually glue it down as a background. And I'm not really sure how this is going to work, how this newsprint is going to work, but this is my trial and we will see. So I'm going to squirt, because I'm too lazy to mix it separately, I'm going to squirt a little bit of glazing liquid on there and then just take, I have some thicker gel, matte gel, as opposed to matte medium, which I have been using. Um, and um, that adding a little glazing medium just really um, makes it a little thinner and easier to spread around because what I would like to do, we'll see if I'm successful, what I would like to do is actually get this on without any bubbles in the back. So I am putting a little bit on both sides, which is probably way over gluing. But as I mentioned before, for whatever reason, that works better for me. And I know it will stick over the sides. And I'll probably glue it right to my deli paper here, but I used to get a lot of this newsprint. Uh, somebody used to use it as a packing material, and they must not anymore. And I really did enjoy using it as a protector for my table. There, so I'm just going to lift this up so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to put another layer of this mixture on the top because I think it'll make it, um, it'll just give it a coating on the top uh, that will be easier to glue and collage on and or paint on. All right, so we are going to, the, oh, I'm sorry, before I um, shut it off so that that can dry, I also took my piece of paper from the other day that I was lifting paint up from and I started making some dots. Now this, I wanted to experiment with a marker that I had, this Molotov toe marker that I had gotten for a completely different reason. So I did some of that, I really liked that. And then I took my black Posca and tried to make some of those black circles down here and I decided I didn't like that. It just kind of soaked into the paper. So I stopped, I coated it with uh, the same mixture of matte gel and glazing um, medium, whatever it was, glazing liquid. And I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to take my paintbrush and do some more of those white circles because I find I just use them a lot. So I'm going to let this dry. I'll um, be back. Right now I'm really liking this, just this strip on here without the dark blue and, and etc. So I'm going to try and replicate that a little bit uh, down here on my horizon line. Maybe even bring the yellow down here and let the orange be up here so that we can keep our, our, our focus or our horizon line pretty low like that. Um, I believe some of those colors are a little, um, perhaps, a little of this transparent oxide and maybe orange. I don't know. Did we use orange on? I suppose one day I used orange. So we've got that and um, that was tangerine actually. And um, 
I'm gonna need a little red, but the red I made just, I'll pull it out and then I may just um, uh, put it on <clears throat> this, what I, what I, uh, it's a stamp by Robin Marie Smith and I don't think she sells them anymore, but it's a very cool stamp, I think. Wait, I, no, it's a Dina Wakely stamp. Sorry. Um, so it is probably still available. And I'm covering up the lower line, so I just want one low, one line of red in there. And let's just start with that, and we'll see where that takes us and where we want to go from there. I'm going to need some white, too. My white is up here. All right, I'll put my white back up there, because that's where I always keep it, because I go through so much of it. And then let's just put a little... A little smaller brush here. And the paints may start showing up very different on here too because remember I told you I actually saw me coat it with um, the matte medium which means the paint won't soak into it quite as much. Subtle. I'm, I could be erring on the side of too much subtlety here. We'll just see. We'll find out what goes on. I was right, reminded sometimes, I don't know if you ever do this, I look through old pieces and I'm kind of reminded of things that I may have done other times and I forgot that technique. So. I'm gonna rub. I'm gonna want to rub everything in to keep that muted, muted feel. Let's just take some of this on our brush and just um, put it elsewhere too. Brush off on. <clears throat> really doing a little more intuitive piece. was teal. Right, now I'm going to put that red on there. 
I'm wondering if I want to lighten up this top just a little bit just to keep um, I'm gonna try that Wow, that really took it in a different direction, didn't it? Hmm, that's kind of fun. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna put some pencil lines in. Then I'm going to highlight this little area right here. I don't know, are those birds? Could be. Interesting how that line down there is so much darker than up here. I don't know why that is. much thought I think there are only a couple of um, things that I am going to do yet on this piece I'm going to establish a nice um, dark spot right here and I'm going to do it simply with this crayon and that is plenty for me and then I'm also going to come back in and put those uh, put that that strip of red across there and I'm actually going to I was testing my crayon there um, put a little line over here because I don't want it to come down into that and once you are once you have paint on this there's only so much of control you have so Put a little bit of paint on this stamp. Just gonna dab it on there. I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm turn this around so that I can get a little bit better angle on it. All right, here we go. We're gonna like this. Oh, I forgot to take the tape off, which means that I have those little lines up there. I can grab those off pretty darn quick. I like the fact that they're kind of wonky. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. I do like that.
Wow, that was a great, a great line there. Nice. I am calling it a day because I like it. I liked it from the get-go. And I know that we've added some things here. And um, I even put a, a little circle around there. And I like that. I don't want to, I, I really like the main focus here and kind of a secondary focus up here. Kind of a, uh, I think Nicholas Wilton, I heard him say lately, a loud conversation and a quiet conversation and even a little conversation going on up there. So I'm calling it a day and um, toodles and God, God bless.